review the no brand Dollar Tree flashlight. Let's do this. This is pretty much an exact copy of the Rayovac uh, anniversary light that came out last year. But you can find it at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I apologize to everyone for running so far behind. I've got numerous flashlights that have come in. I just haven't gotten around uh, to doing anything. Uh, I've been very busy with the holidays and everything else. I've got the Skyray S88. That thing's a beast. 16,000 lumens. Not really. Uh, but it is very bright, and we'll review that later. Uh, Black Friday came early, so I was thankful for that. We got the uh, Defiant uh, Lantern, Capsule Lantern. Pretty neat. We'll review it. Uh, do yourself a favor. Don't wait for me. Go ahead and get one for $10. It's not bad. Uh, also, Black Friday special. You got the Coast 2-pack inspection light. I don't know about that one. You might want to hold off on that. Just wait for the review. Uh, that's my advice. Well, we also got a couple different no brand 16340 lithium ion flashlights, and they're pretty neat. You know, we'll look at those for how small they are. Uh, in other news, wait for it. Wait for it. It's a boy. So, this is kind of what I've been working on. Just been super busy. We're trying to get this room ready for his arrival. So that's what's keeping me going. Without further ado, let's take a look at this thing. Like I said, this is a no brand Dollar Tree flashlight. You can find it at Dollar Tree for a dollar. It runs on two D cell batteries. Doesn't come with D cell batteries, but you know who sells D cell batteries? Dollar Tree. The LEDs are extremely low output, pushing about 45 lumens. There's three of them. Not sure what type they are. They're not Cree, uh, just your little indicator LEDs. But they're plenty bright enough. It's got one mode. The little on-off button here, full forward, is all the way on. You can go to the middle, and you've got like a momentary press on with the red button. Like I said, this is pretty much an exact copy of the Rayovac. Uh, anniversary light that they came out with last year. Um, runtime, you got 11 hours of runtime, and that's not bad. You could probably get a little bit more if you bought some high quality batteries. I'm using the cheapest batteries out there, so, uh, but 11 hours isn't bad, I don't think. About 10 meters of range, I uh, know that's not much, but um, it's not bad, and 10 meters is about the max. You're really pushing what this light can do. Uh, the reflectors in there are so shallow, they're pretty much useless. But it does help. We'll douse the lights here in a minute. We'll take a look at it. One thing I was surprised, uh, this lens here is actually glass. Super shocked by that. I'm surprised, especially for a dollar. You do have the same hook that the Rayovac light has right here. Just pull it out and flip it up like so. Uh, the metal is extremely thin. Uh, you could take the batteries out of here and pretty much squeeze it and it's going to crumble. Uh, but what can you expect for a dollar? Here's the little, I don't know, packaging this thing came in. It's a flashlight, brand flashlight, 3 LED. Not a whole lot of information here. It shows you how to put the batteries in, things like that. What can you expect from Dollar Tree? And you also have Made in China and there's an eagle on there. I don't know why the eagle's on there, but there is an eagle. So let's go ahead and dim the lights and I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like. All right, so that wall there is 10 foot away and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the middle and you can see what it does. Pretty simple, kind of neat. I mean, it's not useless. It does have some use if you're trying to signal somebody or something. I could see the use in it. Okay, let's step on up here. It's pretty bright. It's not bad. All right, that back wall back there, 30 foot. It's not really lighting it up too much. It is a little bit brighter to the human eye than the camera's picking up. Not much. I don't want to overstate that, but it is just a little bit brighter. Back to the desk. That's pretty much it. I just want you to know it was very difficult for me to go straight to this review instead of skipping and doing this one right here. But I was strong. 
I try to do these in the order I get them in, and I've had this one for about three weeks. I'm running pretty far behind with the nursery, uh, Christmas shop, and everything else. So it's just uh, trying to play catch up right now. So, But anyway, this has been my review of the No Brand Dollar Tree flashlight, and I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. There's an eagle. Oh, how?